All right, we start with the. Uh, of course, we out, have right? to, the <laughs> Munishige. He's, he's just tired. <laughs> right, right. Sawate, this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. We are playing Neo. Yes, we are. We are at the Battle of Sekigahara. Right. And we are going to be fighting the first of two bosses in this mission. It is a two boss mission, as mentioned in the previous video. Mm -hmm. First one is Otani Yoshitsugu, or Yoshitsugu, or Yoshitsugu. Yoshitsugu. Sure many, uh, maybe it's one. Uh, we're going to. We're going to be using uh, Kusaragama. We're going to be kicking repeatedly. Okay. Uh, you see, there, there's the two handed combo. Uh, we're going to dodge most of his attacks the same way, by the way. By standing in front of him and then dodging forward and to the right. Uh, the tracking on his uh, sword combos is such that he, he can't instantly turn. So that's why it's best to dodge to the side and then kick. We're mm -hmm. kicking because we want to get rid of his key, his stamina. Right. Uh, which will knock him down. Uh, which will go directly into the second strategy, which is also the reason we have Riken paired Riken in the corner, which does lightning damage, because this is going to happen. Right. So he's almost down again, which is good, uh, because with lightning, it will debuff his defense. So he'll take more damage, and um, he, doesn't, he can't quite recover uh, in time. And we did it. Uh, we, we beat him uh, without getting hit. We did it, David. We did it. <laughs> you, yay. Um, here's other attacks. <laughs> <laughs> he does other things. <laughs> he does other things. Uh, that was my, I was getting bored with getting chip damage from little attacks here and there. And it was mm -hmm. just like very frustrating. So I was like, I probably can just get out the uh, the, the lightning puppies and just kind of, uh, just kind of right. attack them down. Yeah. So when uh, this is kind of halfway between a, um, a yokai boss and a, a um, humanoid boss. I mean, because it's a humanoid yokai combo. Right. Which means that he can't... Well, actually, I haven't tried parrying him, but I'm going to say you most likely can't parry him because he's too he's big. Floating. But but he doesn't have the same. Uh, well, he has the living weapon as the special attack, much like the human characters do. So when he uses living weapon, obviously his swords are glowing. They shoot out shock rays. It doesn't right. seem to be any faster, but when you run his stamina down, is when his living weapon uh, goes away. So that is a, he'll go back to basically the first phase attacks, which were, you know, a little bit more predictable, not as much range. Right. Uh, he does have an attack that he adds in his second, uh, second half of his health, which is the, that, the combo dash, which is the thing that pretty much ruined all of the no damage runs, basically. <laughs> so, right. So he'll add this to both of his phases, his, uh, his non-living weapon and living weapon forms. Living weapon is not any more difficult if you just, uh, play it close like you do this space and you'll be fine mm. uh dodging to the right is just it's just super OP. great it's just great nerf See, dodging like, to the this, right please. in this recording i was doing all right <laughs> yeah you're doing great <laughs> like it's like i feel like i could probably have gotten this but it's, it was not in the cards i guess technically right. it was a little too uh like uh like artorius and other uh, bosses in the same vein their combos are uh can be shortened based on distance. So oh, okay. if you go out of range, of them, uh, they can actually change their combo or just cancel it rather than being fully committed. That's the full combo. It has like the little double cross, like cross swords at the end. Didn't really see that very much, mostly because it's very simple to dodge all of them. Mm -hmm. If you're at medium range, it's much harder. I, I, was, <laughs> man I managed to dodge it because I kind of wanted to show it, but like, don't, don't fight him there. Just don't. Right. Uh, but that's that's actually it. Like he doesn't have any more moves like that, or at least none that I saw. Uh, it's possible, I guess, that he might have some like long range moves that I wasn't paying attention to. But right, because you were, you know, being yeah, doing in the, the mid close range, the close yeah, range, the close and mid game as much as possible. Mm -hmm. There it is. Uh, it's very sad. That's what did it. Yep, that was it. I was like, oh, and he was just right there, and then William was fine, and he didn't die. <laughs> Do I see blood spurting from him in the bottom? <laughs> no, shh, no, no, he was fine and didn't die. Look, William's fine. Oh, we got yeah, the Crusher achievement, and we, <laughs> for some reason, have a different weapon right now. And a creepy uh, mask. It was just a, yeah, it was just like a, yeah, it was just a, it was just a weird hiccup in the recording. We're fine. Oh, good. 
Uh, but Yay. that cheese, uh, this is like closer to version one of the game just because they have done many patches and DLC content since then. So I don't know how effective the, if that was, it was nerfed to ineffectiveness or not. Cause you can see that I, even though I started the, um, I forget what they call it, the, uh, the, the combo that you spam where you can, as long as you have stamina, you can just keep slashing. Right. What it's called. Um, it's like water sword, but that's the dual sword version. So I, I don't remember something. The uh, sorry, Gama version. But anyways, the one where you can just Reaper, maybe. I think maybe it's called. You, like you Reaper. tap the button and you do the the. Yeah, you can tap as long as you have stamina. But when you have your living weapon out, it's as long as you have living weapon energy and right. you infinite can, combo. You can, yeah, you can do an infinite combo. It's it's more infinite in earlier versions of the game. But like I said, they might have nerfed the efficiency on that because as you do damage and absorb Amrita because you're doing damage. You're gaining back the stamina that you're so you know it's a little bit of an endless engine of right. infinite damage, right? Uh, which that is a ch that is a particular type of cheese that works on many, if not all, bosses. There's a lot of different cheeses in the game. I try not to do them too frequently, but right, uh, will will that that is the cheese that you can employ that, in many many circumstances. That seems like a little bit a little bit less of a intentional cheese. Like I mean, I, I don't know. They seem know. like the rules are smart there. people, and, and I like they, they got that the rules. So there, there's a lot of cheesy ways to get through Neo, but I don't think it actually cheapens the game. I think it makes it more interesting because you can just right. do whatever you want. So, like these guides themselves, you can go through and not get hit, or you can not get hit by cheesing. Like who cares? It's a video game. Have, you know, have fun with it. Yeah. Get the get your crusher achievements or don't. It doesn't matter. Neo's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, there's different ways. You can use magic. You don't have to use magic. You can use, like, ninjutsu and magic, and there's a whole bunch of ways you can stack damage and get one-shots and, you know, become invisible and debuff and, you know, lots of other things. We've seen some of them already. We'll see more of them, uh, especially on the Gasha Dokuru fight, which is just kind of annoying. That's the next one, right? Uh, no, the, that will be the next mission, although it's still technically in the same uh, the same battlefield oh, okay still the battle uh, second yeah, we, we have one more uh one more like humanoid uh boss much harder than this one is at the end of this particular mission uh this is more of a well he's a mid boss literally because you know halfway through the mission but uh he's a lot easier than uh Sakon, i think is the guy as another spear wielder very difficult took a long time to get the no damage <laughs> not quite as cheesable had to learn a few more things. He has some, uh, in particular, like a, a super move that he can use when he has a living weapon out that is uh, has a lot more range than you think. So it's, it's kind mm -hmm. of a dragon punch uppercut. Lots of particle effects. Lots of lots of sadness and particle. Effects. That, that's that will be next time though. So, yeah, and you've already it, recorded it, so yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to beat him. <laughs> yeah. I did that. You did yes. that when the game came out. In a rare, rare circumstance, past Jeff's done future Jeff <laughs> some favors. <laughs> done him a solid. Yep. Uh, well, if you have enjoyed this content or found it useful, feel free to go to our Patreon, which is where you can give us so much per month and help support us in what we do. If you can't do that, uh, you can give us a one-time tip on PayPal. If that doesn't work, you can tell people about us. That'd be great. What what are you doing, Jeff? <laughs> I'm just passing the time by shaking this uh, instant oatmeal, apples, and cinnamon next to the microphone. I was already done when you started. Oh, okay, good. Hey, yeah, all right, we're done. <laughs> I mean, I could talk some more, I guess. I I could... <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> uh. I was going to say, like... Hey, I've been playing this fun new game, but I'm going to save that for the video where I talk about the fun new game. <laughs> right, that's coming up. <laughs> yeah, next. that's coming up. So, yes, that will be coming up next. So, if you're wondering why this video is shorter than the normal 45 minute thing Un we do. Unless unless I upload the other one first, in which case this will be like this is very a very Tarantino-esque sort of playing with like linear narrative, just kind of shuffling things up for maximum drama. You're right. Like, oh, yeah, that's when that happened. That happened. Oh, yeah, they're, they're mentioning a thing that has happened in the past, but we haven't seen it yet. Huh. It will, uh, there will not be as many people being shot with an Uzi on a toilet and at the end of this particular podcast portion of our show. 
I mean, pulp, I, pulp fiction's pretty I, good. I, yeah, I don't pulp fiction. I was about to say I don't own an Uzi, and I, I assume you, you don't. I do not know because owning an Uzi would like cut into your like ability to own other fun toys. Yes, it would, uh, the the part where it costs a lot of money, and also would have no interest in it. It's right, that's a, also a, a one-two punch. <laughs> yeah, it's real expensive, and you don't care. It's good times. Yeah, there's actually a pretty good indoor gun range here in uh, uh, in Bellevue. Actually, really, it was a lot of fun to go there. Yeah. No, I, I enjoy going to shoot guns. It's just yeah, shooting pistols, uh, mm -hmm. shooting a revolver. Revolver is fun. A revolver. If you think that like. You see, like, movies and video games and, you know, like, reloading guns is, for the most part, pretty automatic or just perfunctory. Mm -hmm. But you're like, you know, it's probably not as fun as it looks to load a revolver. Uh, incorrect. No, it it's as fun as it looks. <laughs> it is super fun to load a revolver. Just <laughs> it is awesome <laughs> to just, like, you know, just, like, pull the cylinder out and he's, like hit it at once and like all the spit shells pop out and you just kind of thumb thumb six to mm -hmm. I don't know six or seven probably as many as seven, 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 seven kinds but you there's know, six or seven like rounds five or there's there's any number of yeah, yeah, yeah. How big it is. let's say five to five to eight so. right let's say six the classic six shooter you can get right. six in there you give it a spin put it back in there have you ever it's had one times. of those like quick reloaders for a revolver where you I like, have not but I, I have seen them. I have not used them. It does. Oh. It seems like magic. I really want. I really <laughs> want to use one, just because it's like, oh, that just looks like, like the coolest thing. Just shrink and you're done. But I mean, you're talking to the it's, person that uses like a yeah. quick loader on magazine-fed weapons. Just yeah, because, that, man, that makes life way easier. <laughs> I find it I find it surprisingly difficult and unfun to load a, a magazine. Mm -hmm. It's well, very it's very like I mean obviously the tension inside the magazine the spring is such that it's always pushing the bullets upward like that's the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very hard to get them in there. That's uh, that's what the quick loader is useful for. Yeah, yeah, you have to be going to shoot with somebody who has a quick loader. Sure. That, that's why the, the the revolver reloading experience is definitely much more fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. Plus just plus just a ridiculously large revolver with like a whole bunch of feedback on it. It's just really fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of my like the, the target that I got <laughs> from the from that just kind of hanging out on the wall. It's like yeah, let's put it over the wall. Yeah. Have you have you uh, fired a shotgun yet? I have not. That is something that I would love to do. That is. I also that is about, also something that I really want to reload. Yeah, I was about to say, talk obviously, about I want fun reloading. A experience. pump action is yep. is the dream. Yeah. Even like a breach loading, I feel like would be pretty fun too. Yeah. So. All right. This thus concludes our gun talk portion. <laughs> the gun the talk portion. <laughs> well, we can't say that. It's a branded. That's a brand. That's a firm firm. That's oh, a thing. It's, uh, it's um. Our fire, fire the firearm side chat. The firearm fancier pat, uh, podcast. Because <laughs> we are firearm fanciers, we don't own any, but we think they're fun. Uh, yeah, I don't, they they are fun. And hey, don't shoot anyone. Yes, don't. <laughs> like, please don't do that. Yes, that would be. It should go it is, without saying. It but goes without saying. It is very uncool when people shoot other people with guns. Yes. But I would posit that it is quite fun to shoot a target with a gun. Yes. A non-living target. I would, I would maybe suggest that most people at least try it once or twice, especially if you have maybe a, an irrational or misplaced focus of guns. Right. It's, get someone to knows what they're doing to, to help you through, maybe take it. Right. Demystifies and, it a little bit. And not to say that all fears of guns are irrational, but some of oh, them Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> no. You, you have, I would, I would suggest that, like removing the irrational ones, but also reinforcing, reinforcing the rational ones. Right. Would be the, the job a good teacher would do both of those yes. things, I feel. Yes. Anyways. Neo. <laughs> oh, all right. Neo. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to stop.